On February 6th of 2023, two major earthquakes which were both in magnitude 7 range struck separate major fault lines in south-central Turkey. Thereafter, the respective faults which they occurred on lit up like a Christmas tree, allowing people to easily see the fault lines due to the distributions of aftershocks. However, due to stress release, some aftershocks occurred outside of these faults at more distant locations. Two of these quakes were of small magnitude, registering in the magnitude 3 range, but interestingly occurred adjacent to the active volcano known as Mount Arias. Mount Arias is considered to be active as it has erupted during the Holocene period, producing four distinct lava domes and one more explosion crater. While this might sound concerning when taken out of context, these two earthquakes are not a cause for concern as they appear to be isolated events related to small regional faults which were not directly underneath the volcano. And even if they were determined to be volcanic in origin, it would not be unexpected. Minor earthquake storms often occur at nearby volcanoes after a large magnitude earthquake, such as when a magnitude 7.3 earthquake in California during 1992 triggered minor quake storms at the volcanoes known as Clear Lake, the Long Valley Caldera, Lassen Peak, and Mount Shasta. None of these volcanoes erupted due to this sequence, and the same is most likely true with the large quakes that occurred on February 6th of 2023 in Turkey. With this being said, why does the eastern three-fifths of Turkey have volcanoes in the first place as the Blate boundaries are not causing any subduction there and no mantle hotspots underlie the country? The answer is for the same reason there is occasional volcanism on the edges of the Colorado Plateau, a process known as lithospheric drip. Although what causes this process to begin is unclear, sometimes a piece of lithosphere may start to sink lower into the mantle. This occurs in a process similar to sap dripping from a tree. It forms a distinct drop over time, which then breaks off while also creating empty space. Material from the lower mantle then rushes upwards to fill the empty space, creating a large amount of uplift which in this case resulted in the Anatolian Plateau via repeated occurrences of this process. This also on occasion sends molten rock into the crust via intrusions which occasionally reach the surface and erupt, producing a chain of volcanoes. However, due to the nature of the crust, this often results in highly viscous lavas and explosive eruptions involving andesite, dacite, or rhyolite, although it can also involve less viscous lavas as shown by the existence of the Mount Tenderuk shield volcano just south of a more viscous composition stratovolcano, Mount Ararat. Strangely, in this type of fairly unique geologic setting, volcanoes do occasionally follow a pattern where closely spaced volcanoes erupt together in a brief geologic time span. For example, it was unusual that Mount Ararat produced a highly explosive eruption in 1840, only to be followed by an eruption of Mount Tenderuk 15 years later. Both volcanoes have not erupted since. Or, in 7500 BCE and 6900 BCE, both the Mount Hassan and Mount Arius volcanoes erupted about the same time. In the Colorado Plateau, which also has lithospheric drip, three volcanoes erupted at about the same time approximately 900 years ago, and all have not erupted since. However, just because one volcano erupts in a lithospheric drip geologic setting does not automatically indicate that another separate volcano which is nearby will also erupt, as plenty of isolated single eruptions not paired with other nearby volcanoes erupting have occurred in such a setting. However, in Turkey, unlike in the Colorado Plateau, volcanism is dominantly explosive rather than dominantly effusive. Although small explosive eruptions are far more common, this has allowed for rare, large caldera forming eruptions to occur, such as a VEI-7 explosive eruption which produced a dense rock equivalent of 40 cubic kilometers of volcanic rock at Mount Arias 2.52 million years ago. Ash and pyroclastic flow deposits produced by this and other large eruptions during the last 10 million years ended up constructing a series of ash pillars at a site 50 kilometers to the west. Because of this unique geologic setting and the lack of magmatic quakes caused by aftershocks in recent days, as only tectonic ones occurred, the February 6 magnitude 7 earthquakes and its aftershocks are highly unlikely to cause a volcanic eruption in Turkey at the present. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.